Well, hello, wonderful people. I have a quick question. Have you ever had a fat burger before? Is it any good? So my twin sister tried a fat burger the other day and she said it was really good. So you know what? I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna try a fat burger because I never had it before. And I wanna see if it really does taste good. And it is warm today and it's about 80 degrees but it's really cloudy out. Let me take this off for now. And let's get a fat burger. Now the interesting thing is I have lived in California since 2006 and I have never tried a fat burger. I tried In-N-Out. Don't see the hype about In-N-Out. Not a fan of In-N-Out because you know a McDonald's is always close by. As a matter of fact, it's over there. So I'm surprised it took this long for me to try a fat burger. Now is there a drive through um, Because fat burger is considered fast food, right? Is this it? Where is it? No, is that it? Yes. Okay, so no, it's not a drive through So you gotta go inside. Okay, cool. All right, so you gotta go inside. So let me put on my face mask. Which is the entrance? Is that it? So this cost $12.66 and I got the original fat burger with Swiss cheese and some onion rings. And that didn't even come with a drink. A drink was $2.85 for a medium. And I said, you know what, forget it. I have water in the car, I'll just drink that. I'll save some calories. So I'll just wait outside until they call my name. $12.66, damn. I could have gotten McDonald's and at least I came with a drink. But, but I'm trying fat burger, I'm trying fat burger. Let me take a selfie while I wait. I am still waiting. Would've had my food at McDonald's by now. Ooh, it's done. Coming. Okay, first of all, it can't be 80 degrees because it feels a lot hotter than 80 degrees. So my car is saying 87, and that is hot, and it's April. All right, so I am turning into a parking lot to eat my food. Have you ever done that? Pulled into a parking lot to eat your food because you know you're about to pig out? This is like an unboxing video. So here are the onion rings, right? Oh, onion rings, I hope she gave me ketchup and we're about to pull out the burger oh all right so i moved the car because there was too much light coming over here and i just yeah to block out some of the light much better much better so i have the burger i got my napkins everywhere my mouth is watering because i'm hungry i like the packaging this is nice it's like the in and out they give you like the wrapping and stuff but and this is fat burger so I'm not gonna put ketchup on it because I really don't wanna make a mess. So let's take a bite out of it. Aw. Now hold on now. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Well damn. You know what, I forgot to get the water. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. It's important to stay hydrated. Let's open this up. Mm -hmm. And let's take another bite of that burger. It is actually really tasty. Mmm. Definitely way better than in and out Burger. And yes, better than McDonald's. But McDonald's will always be my go-to because I can't be spending $12.66 every time I want a burger. No way. So now let's try the onion rings. And they look like this. It's like an unboxing video. It looks like this. And they look healthier. I've bought onion rings before from, I believe Jack in the Box. I think they have onion rings. And from Burger King. So let's try it. Tasty. Has a good amount of salt on it. As this salt is healthy for you. Really tasty. Not bad, not bad. All right, so here's my verdict. The fat burger and the onion rings I would have to give this a thumbs up. I'm really, really surprised how good this is. I mean, this is the original burger. I probably next time will get um, the large or the XXL so I can get a little bit more meat because I feel like I'm kind of tasting a whole bunch of bread. But overall, it's still very, very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy the rest of my burger.